Hey everyone, I'm just going to really quick go with you a humorous kind of the anatomy and again how to tell is it a right humorous, is it a left humorous. So again there's kind of a little trick so I'm going to teach that to you today. So if you want to go to page 82 in your lab manual you can kind of follow along with the image and we'll go through this together. So the first thing you want to do is kind of notice that the um, top of the humerus is kind of like a ball, right? So on the opposite side of the ball you're going to see there's two little bumps here, okay? So the bump that is furthest away from kind of the largest portion of the ball, that is called your, um, your greater tubercle. And the one next to it is your lesser tubercle. That kind of makes sense. So then this line between here, it's kind of a groove, is called your intertubicular groove. So that makes, that makes sense. So and then if I were to put my fingers in a circle kind of around this part of the bone, that would be considered your surgical neck, the surgical neck of the humerus. But if I were to kind of go around that head of the humerus right here, kind of a circle here, that is the anatomical neck of the humerus. So there's two, surgical and anatomical. And then we kind of have this little tuberosity here in the middle of the bone. This is your deltoid tuberosity. It's where your deltoid muscle attaches, which is kind of awesome. So and then we're going to go down to the um, more posterior part, or I guess you could say distal part of the humerus. It's a little bit trickier, so we're just going to go through this together. So the first thing is you can see there's kind of this big indent here. This is your olecranon fossa. So that's the olecranon fossa. And then this down here, you can kind of see it's, it's very um, distinct. This is your trochlea. So it's um, there, and it also comes around to the other side. So this whole guy here is your trochlea. But now this big circle here is kind of big, um, it kind of bones that bows out a little bit. This is your capitulum. So that's the capitulum. And then you have your lateral epicondyle and your medial epicondyle. So that's your uh, bone markings of the humerus. So now here's so you can tell if it's a right or a left. First thing you want to do is find your inner tubicular groove and point at anterior. Okay, so we've got an anterior. And then you look at the bottom part, and if you can look at that, look at which epicondyle sticks out more. This one. So you always know that's the medial epicondyle. So if this is medial, then we know that this is a right humerus. So find the inner tubicular groove face it forward, and then look at the uh, medial epicondyle. It points medially, it points out more, so we know this is a right humerus. So there you go. I hope that makes sense. Good luck studying, guys. You'll do awesome.